grandma, mom, the aunts, they come down and eat at the restaurant, they are more scary than the Michelin inspectors. <laughs> it's true because they really critic every single thing. You know, sometimes the Michelin inspectors cannot catch that, but they are the they are the real experts of our food. Yeah. Hi, my name is Malcolm Lee and I'm the chef and owner here at Candonut Restaurant in Singapore. What we do here is uh, Peranakan cuisine with a traditional but younger approach. Peranakan cuisine is uh, in essence really a colourful fusion of uh, Malay and Chinese uh, ingredients, flavours, culture and so many things that makes it very, very unique. We are much more family style. We kind of work together rather than just you know a top-down approach kind of restaurant. Wow, see, wow, this is what my kids do to me. That's how much they love me. Growing up, wanting to be a chef, you know, I wanted to do the cool stuff, right? The whole fine dining and the French and modern type of cuisine. And that's where I went. But I think as, as I grew up, then I start to realise that, hey, I still love my rice and curry. Uh, I think that slowly start to divert me backwards to embrace uh, my culture, the food that I have uh, and learn it. And, and you know, I went on that journey and then the restaurant happened uh, with my mom. It was a very interesting kind of uh, working relationship, you know. So kind of I was running the show and like telling mom what to do and like, okay, I need this now, can we do this? You know, we need to fire this. And mom will follow, but there'll be some times that she's like, hey, don't tell me what to do, I'm your mother. <laughs> yeah, that's right. right? Since <laughs> yeah. young, going back to yeah. Popo's house every day, you know, like Chinese New Year, eating, all yeah. the food have translated into something so new and modern now. Yeah, yeah so very happy. The one ingredient that is super unique to our, our cuisine is uh, wok lo, which is a poisonous black nut. The signature dish is ayam wok lo, which is a chicken uh, with a black nut uh, kind of curry. And you need to just taste this one dish and you can pretty much evaluate a person's repertoire of Peranakan uh, food already. Of course, I've tasted, I've cooked many, many versions and I tell you, my, but my toy, you know, my aunt's version is the best that I've tasted so far. I mean, she cooks it with this pork, but soft bone. Always look forward to it. It's, wow, it's really, really very, very good. <laughs> I know he loves my pork pork yes. lot because each time I have it for the Chinese New Year and I can see him eating away. <laughs> So here we are in the kitchen of my aunt's house and why we are here is because what best you know to let my aunt show us uh, you know a little bit of tips and tricks how to cook this dish because I still can't cook the same flavour like yours. So I need to learn. So when I cooked it, yeah. think of all the people who will be eating this Actually, and yeah. so therefore yeah. I suppose that yeah. that's the secret. <laughs> We have to prep a, a spice paste, curry paste, yes. also known as the rempa, which is really the soul of any Peranakan dish. It takes so much time, um, but without it, it just falls flat. Right. And here we have the basic ingredients. Of course, it wouldn't be a bokulua dish without the bokulua itself. It's actually poisonous. And then they have to boil it and ferment it. When you buy home the nut, it is uh, covered in ash and it's yes. very dusty. Yes. So we need to soak it in water to rid it of all the dust. And then after the water runs clear, and that's when we start to prepare the nuts. Mm. This is from Indonesia, so they have already done that uh, tedious process for us and we have a safe to eat uh, black nut over here. Then you will show me later what to do, <laughs> how to get more flavour. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, that's, okay. why it, that's why it cannot become like yours. <laughs> right, so today I'm determined to learn. Yeah, make sure that it's right. Grandma, mom, the aunts, they come down and eat at the restaurant, they are more scary than the Michelin inspectors. <laughs> it's true because they really critic every single thing. You know, sometimes the Michelin inspectors cannot catch that, but they are the they are the real experts of our food. Yeah. Right. Okay, let's go. So here we have a mota and peso that we're going to pound, right? Yes. So I'm gonna start to prep.
Okay, so now we have a paste here. You have to okay. pass me here. Yeah, whether pass or no? Do we okay. want to? Another, another few rounds. Okay, few and rounds. Better. Okay. See, it's so hard to pass a Puranakan standard. <laughs> The trick is to try and find all the big pieces of mm. like maybe right. garlic or shallot. And just... okay, now the spice paste is nice right. and fine. We have one more very tedious step to go. Okay. It's not the end yet, right? It's not the end yet. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> the bokalo or not. Right. Yeah, okay. Why don't you show me the secret of like, you know, making this? So what yeah. we do is we crack the nut and I always use a hammer. Mm. So I rest the angled okay, all right. run on the board and mm, I just mm. talk, talk at the top. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Can't wait to good. have it uh, good. Yeah. cooked. So we're going to take out all the filling? Yes, all inside. the filling. Yeah, just transfer. <laughs> Look at that. This is really one of the best things on earth, man. Mm. So here we are, the rempa, mm. the spice paste for the wakala, and we're done. Yeah. We start cooking oh, after all that the, pounding. The best part already. <laughs> right, you're going to heat the oil first. Yeah, we have I think the oil? trick is uh, to have enough oil, and mm. the oil must be uh, hot, hot and okay. boiling, okay, right? Okay. Before you put your rempa okay. in. Okay. Now you want to put the yeah. spice paste in. Yes, okay. With the heat. Okay. Can you smell? Very good. Mm. Wow, that's intense, man. This is the secret right here. <laughs> okay, so now it's already fragrant. Yes. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So pot goes in now. Right. Yeah. Wow. It smells so delicious. Wow. It smells. Look at that. It's a bokla paste. Bokla, okay. Alright, let's go. Put the nuts. More? Okay. I, I love more. I love more. <laughs> more, okay. Oh, alright. Let's go. <laughs> oh, the smell is uh, crazy. I, I wish you all can smell this, but yeah. it's really... Yeah. <laughs> so, add some water in? Yes. Yeah. Oh? Yeah. Just try and get it. Would you want to like maybe add some aromatics? Yes. Lemongrass? Uh, okay. Lemongrass and the uh, kaifalai leaves. Okay. Okay. Maybe like... How many? Yes, three. Three, okay. Mm. Come. Okay, yeah. Now you can smell the fragrance. Mm. Huh? Wow. Okay, the flame. Yeah. Huh? So, what have you learned? Well, I've, I've learned how you fry that paste, man. Yes. I've never actually done it this way. But how do wow, you do it? we actually do it like slightly slower, but uh -huh. this is a quick, almost like a deep frying of the curry paste. Okay. Wow. So that is simmer. We're just gonna wait for I think an hour. It seems like an eternity for this to be done, but I'm sure it's gonna be really, really good. Nice. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Fast. Excellent. Wow. <laughs> wow. Very good. Yeah. I think this bowl is not enough. <laughs> Not enough at all. You see, I'm helping myself mm. more. <laughs> wow. Best food on earth. Product food. Yeah. <laughs> it's like this moment where you eat something so delicious and you don't know what to do with your life. <laughs> you just sit here amazed. <laughs> You know, sometimes food is not just about the dish itself. It's about the story uh, that it brings along and through that, you bring forward the memories as well. And then you pass it on to, you know, to different people and it just means a lot uh, when you have that dish also. So that's what I learned. I'm very, very happy to <laughs> eat this kind of food.